Hi guys, today I would like to talk about another megaliths that were found near the mountain of Subuha in Altai. I'm gonna show you where it is, so you, you have a clue. So Altai is a, is a Russian Republic in southern Siberia whose terrain encompassed the Altai Mountains and surrounding tundra, alpine meadows and thousands of, la of lakes. Most of the Republic is protected by biodiverse reserves which shelter diverse wildlife like snow leopards and Argani mountain sheep. Among its natural landmarks are Twin Peaks, Mountain Beluha and ex expensive Lake Teletskoya. So it's a pretty clean ecological district of Russia. And look how it looks. So it's close to Tibet mountains, I guess, because it's not very far from here. It's like maybe a thousand kilometers. So Okay, and what I'm gonna show you is the pictures of megalithic structures in the Altai Mountains. I've been previously shown, I've previously shown the megaliths from Krasnoyarsk and, and the Mammoth Mountain, so you better check it, this video if you like megaliths and you like uh, watching different ancient constructions which are now really destroyed and um, but some some of them are still are not discovered so this is one of them we have a much a bunch of those megalithic structures in Russia and uh, they all uh, they all uh, were built in like the times where uh, when the so-called Atlantis was uh, the ruler of this planet, the most powerful empire. And in fact, uh, the Atlantis was a part of more great empire than it is, but we don't we don't actually know the name. We know that is what was called Rus, uh, so like the whole Earth was called Rus, and uh, it's also been called the Midgard Earth because it's um, situated, it's located between uh, the hell and the heavens. So uh, that's why both powers of the hell and the heaven can uh, send their troops and fight on this planet. That's what we know from Russian Russian legends. Uh, it's what we know from different uh, evidence that is left in our folk uh, folklore and folk culture. So what we now can do is we just uh, locate and observe those different structures which were Atlantis structures because the Atlantis was a trade empire and um, it's it's similar to the British Empire which we had in uh, medieval times so it like traded with every part of this great old uh, old Rus and um, it had different agents uh, and it was very powerful because it had fleet and it had air fleet and it had a bunch of other technologies which we are now uh, only on the, on, the, on the way to uh, figure out what they actually had. 
It's definitely the levitation, they had uh, teleportation, they had uh, aircraft, they had navy, they had maybe submarines and underwater mining instruments and they also had great huge mining uh, devices which are comparable to the most biggest that we have right now and all those cities were destroyed uh, after some war and actually we know that it was between uh, the parts of that Atlantis because some of them split up and uh, started their own uh, evil business which was uh, similar to what we do right now uh, the business was to uh, take all the resources of the of the planet in the need of the trade and the production and uh, some fake uh, goals that we have right now uh, and they, those goals are similar to those that they had so it the goal is was to make earth to serve that culture that Atlantis culture that evil Atlantis part culture and they actually survived after that war and right now they're in charge of many countries we call them uh, the blue blood folks somebody calls them reptilians somebody calls them you know demons or whatever but they look like people exactly like people and um, what we know about them is that they are pretty evil and they do all this stuff that is not conservative that it's now called liberal stuff uh, what is the purpose of it is total enslavement total control uh, so they can do what they do uh, and what they do is rob this planet rob this our house uh, in this in the past they cut the huge trees uh, that we know as a giant trees and uh, they cut all this um, precious things that we had and they mine it and they just replace it with some useless stuff like uh, like cars that we have right now like iPhones like all these stupid things that we have which work only for a couple of years and then they get broken they break up and you know you you probably wanna buy another one and next year you buy another one and so on that's eternal stupidity that they teach us to do and for their own power just nothing else because what is countless what is the most precious thing in, in this life that we have is time and with all this money that they earn from us that they make us work that they make us produce stuff they um, buy only one thing they buy time they buy our time and use our time to do stupid things not to research not to find out who we are, who we were, uh, what actually happened, uh, how to set us free, how to do things to promote our lives, with, how to explore our world, how to fix it all, uh, make it more natural, make it more ecological. They don't do. They don't want us to do it because if we do it. We're gonna become what we were. We we're gonna become the sons and daughters of this planet, 
like we were we we become uh, the fans of our ancestors we're gonna glorify them not the fake gods not the fake books that they give us not the fake stories some of them are real of course but they turn it upside down and they make us believe in some good things obviously good good enough to believe in like fairy tales and stuff like that like all these amendments and stuff like that it's all good things you actually read them and you believe in this but look what they do what they actually do to us from time to time everything ends with this with the total destruction a total war when they delete all this evidence hide out in those underground facilities wait up till this consequence is over come out of these facilities and enslave the ones that left and start it all over again every time they do the same thing this is endless look what technologies did we have and what we have today they make us stupid each time they make us more stupid they make us more weak they make us more dependent on their stuff our health gets less better and it, every time it just gets worse because after all this catastrophic wars that we had we only become weaker we don't live as long as we did we don't look like we were as tall as we were we don't you know we again smaller and we lost our planet we lost our mother earth and right now what we do the whole world is collaborating with this evil offsprings of those bad guys that actually destroyed our planet a couple of times already and still they didn't have the full control every of that time that's because we had what we have right now because every time we have a reset somebody stands up for this planet somebody tries to do something because we are the owners of the planet not them it's not it doesn't belong to anyone it belongs to everybody the majority and I don't want any minority to rule it to tell us what to do I want everybody look around reveal evidence load it to YouTube make your video tell everyone share this video share your videos research and do whatever do flat earth research do you know history research do anything anything that you like anything that's close to what you understand because what we have right now guys is not very good it's not really good even if you live wealthy for today in a couple of years or so you're gonna see the same picture you're gonna see ruined cities you're gonna see millions of lives lost everything's gonna change if it goes this way because sooner or later the war gonna happen and those evil guys they just wanted to do want us to do it with our own hands kill each other start the war it's already on in some countries if you didn't mention that recognize that right now 
we have like seven countries which are currently bombed by the United States of America. We have Russia bombing Syria, bombing Syrian terrorists too. We have a war in Ukraine which uh, is against Western, pro-Western Ukrainians and pro-Russian Ukrainians. So we are one step before another war starts. If it's gonna be Hillary Clinton on the November 8th, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have a war. If it's gonna be Donald Trump, maybe we have a little time to think things about and the war is gonna start like maybe in 10 years when Donald Trump and his followers um, finally lose the America. He's not very good, I know. He's, he's somebody that is not the best person for the presidency. And, not, and I'm not uh, promoting him in any way. I'm not backing him up, but he's the first step guy, the guy who actually gonna stop this process for a while, lets us uh, look around, research what, what we have and uh, find new energy resources that our ancestors used, find all these devices that they used to levitate, to teleport, to transfer electricity wires without no no cables and stuff like that we all all this technology was available in the early 20th century and we forgot it we forgot it because we switched to all this stupid technology that they exposed to us because they know if we go the wrong way we ain't gonna be any slaves there ain't gonna be any, you know, puppet masters because everybody's gonna be free. Everyone gonna have uh, a free house which he, he could build uh, with his own hands. Not work for a mortgage for 50 years and stuff like that. That everybody's gonna have a house. Everybody's gonna have a free energy not pay anything for energy transfer energy producing nothing you're gonna be independent owner of your own house with cost of zero dollars and you're gonna leave it as soon as you want and build another one if you want you can do whatever because they had technology and we gonna reveal it pretty soon sooner or later because I guess the professionals when they find out what we actually discover gonna think about why they did the same and instead of building all the skyscrapers instead of building all this phony houses that we have we're gonna return to what we had in our past we're gonna return to uh, ecological materials such as uh, natural concrete that we produce from different kind of stones uh, we're gonna return to wooden houses that we had in Russia for like centuries and I know you had it in America but right now you have this wooden you know base and whatever so the house is not the same I'm gonna show you what we had in Russia and I'm pretty sure you can fi find your footage uh, of early 20th century and see how your country houses look like and what they were built of it's not the same like you have today believe me only rich guys can uh, buy themselves such kind of houses. 
So, that's what I wanted to say to you guys. It's a message to all of you. If we return to our roots, if we return to what our ancestors believed, if we return to our national interests, because we were all part of one big country, big planet Earth, whatever you call it, world, planet, Earth, Zimlia, how you call it in Russian, Midgard, Rus, it's one big huge family. Everyone has its national interest. Everyone was connected to each other. Everyone was uh, capable of providing himself with food, clothes, houses and whatever. And it didn't cost anyone anything to do that. That's why they had all these resources to build such huge constructions. Because they had the technology. And obviously we don't have it no, right now. Just imagine if we leave New York for like 40 years. What we're going to find out. It's going to be all rusty, destroyed city. And in a couple of years, like 100 years, it's all going to fall apart. And as you can see, centuries and millenniums pass, and this are still standing. The pyramids are still standing too. Nothing happens to them. And they don't pollute all this nature, like... New York and stuff like that. They just stand still and strong. And in fact, they were used in multi purposes, which I was proving in all, like, all, all of my videos that are already uh, filmed. Uh, so you might as well check out the videos about technologies. I may be not that good as in English as I am in Russian, but I, I try to explain myself. With all those words that I had in my dictionary, which I was given in 1995, so that's why maybe I don't have so, so much lexics for you guys to describe myself. But I tried to watch some more videos in English, and uh, sooner or later, my level of uh, pronunciation and uh, content will uh, sure be more higher so thanks a lot for watching my channel thanks a lot for sharing this video and I hope you liked all this new footage that I've searched and uh, found we may We may find our planet destroyed one day, but I hope it's not going to be in our lives and lives our offsprings, our kids. And I hope you guys figure out what's going on and find some new evidence, research it and uh, put it in, uh, in the internet so everybody can check it out. Thanks a lot. I hope you uh, don't take this video as a Donald Trump promotion because I don't want you to think it this way. I just want you to think, to think what's really going on, to think it out. We are all in the same boat in this boat called our mother earth we don't want to shake it we don't want to fall in the water and drown like we already had we already had those, all those floods we already had it and all the consequences of those wars that occurred 
That's why we don't have this anymore. That's why we lost it all. I hope I'll be right back with some new information for you. I hope I have time. And it would be nice for you guys to do the same because I don't want you to sit your butt on the couch. I want you when you go hiking, look at the things the other way. Just imagine if this is all a destroyed construction. Can it be or can not? Of course not every mountain is a destroyed construction, but if you see anything similar to this, those mattress type of mountains, this is definitely blocks or concrete technology. So, thanks a lot and see you soon. Bye.